Even for royalty, life has its ups and downs, as Prince Charles has been finding out on the polo grounds. The prince suffered his third spill from his horse in six weeks during a match last week in Australia. He wasn't hurt, and luckily so, for the College of William and Mary, who's eagerly awaiting the arrival of the British heir this Saturday. His Royal Highness will arrive by helicopter around 12.30 at Barksdale Field and be met by Governor Dalton and other dignitaries. In a walking tour, college officials pointed out that after a brief stop at the president's house, the prince will be taken to the Wren building for a private lunch. Following lunch, he will be driven to Phi Beta Kappa Hall for the convocation where he will be honored. Symbolically, it means a great deal. We wish that more people from the college community could see the convocation when he becomes an honorary fellow. We're the only college in the country that retains its royal charter and the name of the royal founders. And uh, of course, Queen Elizabeth visited here in 1957, uh, the Queen Mother in 1954, and of course now uh, the Prince of Wales. Uh, so I think most people are relatively excited. They're disappointed that they can't all see him. Officials here say the university community is slightly disappointed that Prince Charles will not be accompanied by his fiancée, Lady Diana Spencer, but they are thrilled he'll be making a trip to the institution founded by his ancestors nearly 300 years ago. Ava Hurdle, Area Tonight Witness News at the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg.